The M7B Fish is the modified version of the famous M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which serves as the United States Army's forward observation vehicle. According to Army recognition, the U.S. plans to provide the Ukrainian Army with four units of special fire support vehicles, M7 Bradley. These vehicles are mentioned in the latest military assistance package announced by the U.S. President Joe Biden for Kyiv. The Bradley M7 Fire Support Team, or a B-Fished, tailored for target spotting and streamlining the coordination of indirect artillery fire, boasts an operational range of up to 20 kilometers, rendering it compatible with systems such as the M142 HIMARS, M270 MLRS, and various munitions, including the M982 Excalibur 155mm precision howitzer rounds. On the M7 Bradley, instead of the BGM-71 tow anti-tank guided missile launcher, a special target identification device and a variety of sensors are fitted. These devices allow to detect potential objects at a distance of up to 20 kilometers. The armor provides relatively safe protection for the crew when performing reconnaissance and targeting missions. The M7 Bradley was introduced into service in 2000 and is operated by a crew of four. Its mobility is facilitated by a 600 horsepower Cummins VTA 903T600 engine, providing a maximum road speed of 61 km per hour while exhibiting amphibious capabilities with a speed of approximately 6 km per hour on water. Additionally, it boasts an impressive range of 400 km. The vehicle's maneuverability is substantial, capable of handling gradients of up to 60%, side slopes of 40%, vertical steps of 0.76 meters, and trench crossing of 2.54 meters. Furthermore, with proper preparation, it can float water at a depth of approximately 1.2 meters. The M7 is a point-and-shoot and point-and-laser point system. It obtains precise range information to the target via its laser range finder and other sensors. It estimates coordinates with a push, a button. Vicar has a built-in battery management system with a GPS and initial navigation system. This system determines the location of the vehicle on the map as well as target's coordinates. The M7 calls to fire nearby artillery units via a digital battery management system. There is an identification system which prevents calling fire on friendly units. On a number of occasions, the M7 demonstrated that it can put precision indirect fire on the target with standard 155mm artillery shells. Standard shells land within 50 meters from the designated target. In case with guided munitions, it illuminates the target by a laser beam, allowing the laser guided munitions to detect and hit the target. Furthermore, this armor vehicle can target artillery while on the move. The M7 features a dramatic improvement over the previous M981 forward observation vehicle. Regarding armament, the vehicle is equipped with a 25mm Bushmaster chain gun and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun for shell defense with ammunition loads of 900 rounds for the main gun and 2,200 rounds for the machine guns. The M7 Bradley b fished is armored to withstand 30mm armor-piercing ammunition 
and 14.5 mm heavy machine gun. And there is an option to incorporate explosive reactive armor for added protection against anti-tank rockets and missiles. Ukraine has received many high-precision weapons from the West, including laser and GPS guided artillery shells. But guided artillery is only as good as its targeting data. That helps to explain why the US government slipped for M7 Bradley fire support team vehicles into one of its recent arms packages for Ukraine. The b fist allows fire support operations to be performed on the battlefield in vehicles with the same signature, survivability, and mobility as the other Bradley fighting vehicles in the maneuver units it supports. The US Army explained in its budget request for 2024. It's unclear whether Ukraine will have access to the same digital network the US Army uses. But even without the digital data sharing, the b represents a huge targeting upgrade for the Ukrainians.